Roger Ailes was speaking to journalism students at the University of North Carolina. By That's the way, already funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, here's my form of journalism: uh, not to do journalism. So the the students started having a discussion about CNN and Soledad O'Brien. And when they asked about Soledad O'Brien, uh, Roger Ailes basically looked at the students and said, "That girl, that's that girl that's named after a prison, mm -hmm. right?" So he was referring to Soledad Correctional Facility in Monterey County, California, but. That's not what she was named after. She's not named after a prison. So CNN actually released a statement saying, uh, Roger is wrong, duh. Uh, <laughs> Soledad is named after the Virgin Mary, Maria de la Soledad. Uh, it's a name that her parents gave her in part because they met at daily mass. Mm. How about now? Zinger. Yeah. <laughs> OK, what now? Uh, all right, uh, then I saw some people uh, insinuate that this might be a, a, you know, a racial issue because uh, Roger Ailes took a shot at Soledad O'Brien, who mm -hmm. is Latina, mm -hmm. and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, on that, I pardon Roger Ailes. First ever pardon I've ever given. I don't think it's a racial issue. It's an ignorance I, issue. Yeah, but you know, he and I don't even mind the joke, honestly. Like, if there well, was a prison know. named Uger and he said, oh, what are you named after a prison? But some of that is a really, like, common name. And yeah. he had to, it's not like this was off the record. He was talking to a group of journalism students. Yeah. Did he think this wasn't going to get printed anywhere? How classy is it to take a little jab at someone working for a competing network? Sure. I mean, come on. Yeah. No, he's a clown. Yeah, I might do it too. Really? Okay, yeah, no. I, I, I t okay, I'm outvoted here two to one, but I, I'd go for a full pardon. He made a joke. I mean, if her name was, you know, Soledad like Leavenworth, he makes a prison joke. Yeah, it's Leavenworth, you know, or. Here's why Roger Ailes doesn't get a pass. First of all, we don't know what his intentions were, right? Like, you're giving him the benefit of the doubt, except he's a hateful person. And it's so, not funny. Right, and it's, it's not, not like a joke should be funny. If you're well, going to tell a joke, it should elicit. You know, the that's appropriate response. And also, you're like a light-hearted, fluffy guy. So like, if you, <laughs> yeah, that's what if I you am. made that kind of joke, it so would be fluffy. like, you know, people would give you a pass because they'd be like, ah, it's Uger. He's making a ridiculous joke, right? Uh -huh. But uh -huh. Roger Ailes, it's different. I don't know. You don't, you're not getting fluffy from Roger Ailes? <laughs> I don't get fluffy from Roger Ailes. OK, uh, you know what? Uh, let's go to our Latina correspond Latino correspondent. First of all, Kara, are you Latina? I'm Latina. Mm -hmm. Okay, with a name like Cara Santa Maria, it took me a while to figure it out. Yeah, actually, my name is Italian, but my mother is from Puerto Rico. Oh, so. okay, all right. So you are not giving a part. We have a, our regular Latino correspondent, Jesus Godoy. Uh, <laughs> so, Jesus, uh, guilty or not guilty here? Um, it's really hard to give Roger Ailes a pardon, so I will say guilty. Yeah! Oh, all right. Damn it! All right. Three to one. Okay. Oh, you twisted my arm. Okay, fine. <laughs> Turns out Roger Ailes is guilty. Okay. <laughs> but it's a minor offense. I, to me, him talking about Hitler and Stalin. Oh, yes, is he's much done worse. much worse. That's true. Much I don't think worse. that really anything needs to happen except we kind of talk yeah. about him. Right. And if <laughs> yeah. anything needed to happen, I can assure you that it wouldn't. <laughs> yeah. right. Exactly. Like the, and the real issues that, that News Corp has, of course, is we just did a story the other day about how uh, they might have uh, tapped into, hacked into the phones of three people while they were in the U.S. David Beckham is a possibility. We don't know the names yet. Jude Law is a possibility. And uh, Princess Diana's butler is a possibility. But hacking in their phones while they're in the U.S. would have clearly violated U.S. law. So they might be in a lot of trouble there. Also, Foreign Corrupt pra Practices Act paying off officials in a foreign country like the U.K. is clearly a violation of the law. Whether our Justice Department is going to look into that, I doubt it. Now, how awesome would it be if they looked into it and they threw Roger Ailes into Soledad prison. <laughs> that would be the best story we've ever done. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see Soledad O'Brien going to do the interview there as oh he's going God. into prison and be like, what now? <laughs> what now? <laughs>